James Arnold, IPTV, in association with MTK Global. With me, I've got Robert Diaz. We've just seen an absolute masterclass boxing display from Jorge Norris, retaining his titles against Anthony Crawler. Robert, how do you assess uh, Jorge Norris' performance? Tonight? First of all, I want to thank all the fans, James, all the fans in Manchester for all the support. Support, obviously, for Anthony. Support for boxing. Anthony Crawler, tremendous warrior. I need him to let this message to him. Keep your head up. The love you have from these fans, keep going, brother. You, you could have beaten anybody else but it was Jorge tonight, it's, it's different. Jorge showed fantastic punch selection, fantastic feet, his distance, his timing. To be honest, he didn't do much wrong tonight. He built up such a great lead coming into round six and seven, but really it, it showed what Anthony had to go out and put it on him for the, the remainder of the fight. That so. was the plan going into the fight. Look, we said in September, you were gonna see the best Jorge Linares to date. And this, for this fight, I said it the other day at the press conference, I've been saying it in interviews, you're gonna see a better Jorge Linares this time around. There wasn't that period of inactivity, there wasn't the injury with the hands coming into this fight. Everything had fallen into place. It had been the best camp, the best sparring partners, great camp he had. And it was just putting it together in the ring and I think he displayed, and I, I did put in a couple social media tweets and all here, be ready, be prepared, you will see a masterpiece come Saturday. And I think we got it very close to what that was, you know, a masterpiece. Like, Nine points, I think, was on the judges. Again, a lot of heart for Anthony for keep going. I thought they were going to stop the fight at one point, and he told Joe, no, I want to keep going. He deserved it. I'm glad he saw the final bell. I have had predicted a knockout. I think he was very close, but all in all, I'm very happy with Jorge Linares' performance. Is Jorge Linares, in your opinion now, the finished article? Do you think this is a more matured, more complete Jorge Linares as we, before we've seen him in the past? Absolutely. I've been saying that as well. The talent's always been there since he was 17. I saw tremendous talent in this young man. But something was missing. Something wasn't there. Today, this is the best Jorge Linares. He's at his peak. He's at his best moment. The best fights are ready. And they're available for him now. I, televising this fight on Showtime. Now the American people were able to see him. Maybe we'll take a break, or maybe not. Maybe we'll come back again here. You know, he's starting to like Manchester Light. I think the fans are gonna respect him and love him too, and show him a lot of support. He's thinking about a little apartment here, spend half the time. <laughs> Is there any chance we can see him in with Mikey Garcia? From a boxing fan's point of view, and from a, from a person that loves to see big fights, I mean, that is really a mouth-watering uh, you know, proposition. He wants the best fights, he wants the biggest fights. He, he's shown it, being on the road, he deserves it. Going back in, the, in, in you know, MGM and into the big arenas. You said Mikey Garcia, the biggest fights. Let's bring it, let's give it to the fans. Would you know, you? Lomachenko, uh, there's Flanagan. I'm just there's... gonna come on to that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, the Lomachenko fight, potentially massive, I mean, could that, is that a realistic possibility? Do you think it could be made? I think so. If both, if look, if the other side wants to make it, if the other side if, wants to come up to 135, he wants the biggest fights. At Golden Boy, we want to give the fans the biggest fights. So let's do it. He said he was happy to go to 135 to face Manny Pacquiao. So I can't see a bigger problem for facing Jorge Linares. It's easier to face Jorge Linares because Jorge Linares can make 135 where we don't know if Manny can. There you go. Uh, as we said, Terry Flanagan, big, big draw here in Manchester as well as Anthony Crawler. No doubt he will have one eye on, on getting the chance at Jorge Linares. Does that fight interest you in the team? Absolutely, absolutely. It's a fight that you know we, we, we've been talking about. But, you know, Flanagan has a tough fight coming up. If he gets Peter through... Peter Petrov. Exactly. Peter Petrov, I've, I, he's faced two of my kids already in the past. He's a strong kid. He's, you know, he's very similar to, to Anthony Cole. He just no die attitude. He just keeps coming forward strong. And it'll be a good test. It'll be good to see that fight so we can gauge where Terry Flanagan is. How has Jorge Linares' win tonight been perceived in the States? How's your social media been? I haven't How even turned on the cross? phone. I'm just very happy. I'm ready to go get some dinner, have a, a pint or two, you and, and uh, go rest. You and me both. Listen, always a pleasure to see you, sir. Likewise, James. Thank, Thank you so much. All the best. Thank you, mate.